For 75 years, the Equalizer Sway Control Hitch has been the best protection for your journey. In recent years, auto leveling suspension systems have become more common on tow vehicles. Auto leveling does not replace the need for weight distribution hitches as our testing and results in this video show. This test was conducted and monitored by Equalizer Hitch engineers at our testing facility. To measure the different weights that will be shown in the video, wheel scales were used. The information in this video shows the need for weight distribution despite having auto leveling systems on your tow vehicle. Through this chart we show how automatic leveling suspension affects weight distribution. First uncouple the trailer, level the tow vehicle with auto level, then disable the auto leveling suspension. If it can be permanently disabled, do so. Measure to the front fender at the center line of the axle for the uncoupled measurement, which is 39 inches for our example. This is the baseline measurement, and we will focus on how the vehicle changes from here. As such, the change in weight is zero at this point. Next, couple the trailer to the tow vehicle and retract the tongue jack off the ground. Do not connect the spring arms. Measure to the front fender again for the coupled measurement, which is 40 inches for our example. The trailer has a 1,000 pound tongue weight, which is added to the rear axle. Because of the leverage from the rear axle to the hitch ball, 400 pounds was removed from the front axle and transferred to the rear axle, making the total increased load on the rear axle 1,400 pounds. There was no change to the trailer axle weight. Adding the 1,000 pound tongue weight changes the total weight by 1,000 pounds. Without a weight distribution hitch, the coupled numbers will remain roughly the same after auto leveling. With the weight distribution arms now attached, the hitch has been set up to provide 50% weight distribution, which we will find isn't ideal with auto leveling suspension. Measure to the front fender again for the 50% weight distribution measurement, which is 39 and a half inches for our example. With the spring arms attached, 200 pounds has been added back onto the front axle for a net reduction of 200 pounds. 325 pounds has been moved from the rear axle for a net increase of 1,075 pounds. 125 pounds was transferred to the trailer axles. The total weight change is still 1,000 pounds as no weight has been added or removed from the setup. Turn the vehicle on and enable the auto leveling suspension. With auto leveling on, the measurement at the front fender no longer changes with respect to weight. Therefore, it is invalid but we can see what is happening with the scales. For the truck to level, the rear must raise and the front must lower. Using the scales, we see 100 pounds has been removed off the front axle from our setup of 50% weight distribution. 150 pounds was added to the rear axle and 50 pounds has been removed from the trailer axles. This means that we have lost 25% weight distribution from the auto leveling which brings our weight distribution amount from 50% down to 25%. This puts the weight distribution amount below the recommended 50 to 100% range and could result in unsafe driving characteristics. Let's go back and set up the hitch for 100% weight distribution instead of 50%. Measure to the front fender again for the 100% weight distribution measurement, which is now 39 inches for our example. Now the front axle has returned to its starting weight for a total change of zero. The rear axle is only taking 750 pounds of the 1,000 pound tongue weight. The other 250 pounds has been transferred to the trailer axles. Again, our total weight change from the baseline is 1,000 pounds. With everything coupled, turn on the vehicle and enable the auto leveling suspension. With auto leveling on, the measurement at the front fender no longer changes with respect to weight. Therefore, it is invalid. But once again, we can see what is happening with the scales. Just like in the 50% weight distribution setup, 100 pounds was removed from the front axle of our setup with 100% weight distribution. 150 pounds was added to the rear axle, and 50 pounds was removed from the trailer axles. Again we see that we have lost nearly 25% weight distribution from the auto leveling. This now puts the weight distribution amount at 75%, which is right in the middle of the recommended range. From our testing, we find that weight distribution is greatly affected by auto leveling suspension. These examples show that automatic leveling suspension systems may reduce the amount of weight distribution by about 20-25% to depending on the tow vehicle, 
trailer, and hitch combination. This means when setting up a weight distribution hitch, it is a good idea to set the hitch so that 75 to 100% weight distribution is achieved to compensate for the loss when the vehicle auto levels. The results are much safer loading and better driving characteristics when the weight distribution amount is within the recommended range.